What is going on YouTube? Chrono here and welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to go over an article I saw pop up on the NGS website. But before we jump into that guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Chrono. I primarily cover PSO2 content. would much appreciate to subscribe as we work our way towards what? The AK mark right now? Unfortunately, we couldn't hit it before New Year's is out, but let's see if we can get it taken care of before this month is out. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this. So we got a New Year's article for us. New Year's greetings, 2023. It's kind of funny because this popped up over on Steam like three days early. And I saw something on there that made me wonder about the article itself, and we're going to talk about it together. So, New Year's greetings. Oh, by the way, if you do see it on Steam, do yourself a favor. Don't read the comments. They're a disservice to humanity. But honestly, most of the time, Steam reviews are like that, too. So I understand why those comments are like that. So, Happy New Year. Thank you, to everyone, for enjoying PSO2 and PSO2 New Genesis during the past year. Um, I don't want to be that person that just, like, dissects every single sentence, but, like... I love PSO2. I'm, I mean, I, I'm not the biggest this fan, like not the biggest criticizer of NGS. It is what it is, not what I want it to be, but it is what it is. But like, thank you for enjoying PSO2, even though we did nothing to assist PSO2 in the enjoyment of it. Um, but please allow us to offer our deepest appreciation. The year 2022 was a memorable year that marked the first anniversary for NGS and the 10th anniversary of PSO2. We delivered two major updates in the past and the in NGS last year, releasing the Kavaris in June and Stia in December. Moreover, we launched the PS4 version in global in August. Even more players worldwide joined us and joined NGS as ARC's defenders. Yes, they did. Actually, a lot more than people realized we're going to join, which I tried to explain to people. A free to play MMO on console is game breaking for most people. People have access to consoles. The free to play MMO is huge. Even if it's not like the best in the world, one that people have access to playing, they're going to go ahead and jump into and give a shot. Um, we held various of offline events outside of the game in addition to the 10th anniversary projects such as ARCS Expo 2022 um, at Tokyo Big Site, NGS Kitsune Cafe at Tokyo, I'm not going to pronounce that, an exhibition at, the, uh, an exhibition at uh, AX 2022 in North America. I'd like to express the sincerest gratitude to all of you who have supported us over the, the past 10 years. This year also makes 35th anniversary of Fantasy Star Series, which we are holding the Sympathy 2023 concert. Awesome. On the 20th to celebrate the 10th anniversary of PSO2 and the 35th anniversary of the PSO series. It'll be our first orchestral concert in almost two years. Most of the music will come from NGS. And most of the music from NGS will perform for the first time. I hope that those who attend the event will be able to experience this spectacular live performance. And those who cannot make it to the venue will be able to enjoy the music of Fantasy Star Series in NGS through our global live streaming. You can buy basically live streaming tickets, be able to attend it, and you can get the rewards for attending the concert, which is awesome. Um, going back to the er, going back to the NGS game following the Stia region, you have been enjoying the final or er, following the Stia region, you have been enjoying the final battle await Arx defenders with the dark with Dark Falls coming back in February. We hope that you'll be there to witness what Arx will learn about the secrets of the of Planet Alpha, which we thought we would learn just from the story in Stia, but we haven't figured everything out just yet. I'm sure there's going to be more. There is more to come in April and May. This is the interesting sentence. New classes, new stories, and the NGS second anniversary event. Now, it's likely this is just a copy-paste from beforehand, but I actually want to show you guys something very interesting. Not the only place they mentioned this. So this is the exact same thing. New classes. It's italicized here. You did it on purpose. That's very strange because those of us who know the release schedule will know there's only one new class scheduled. Now, again, this could be a translation thing. I don't know, but it was worth mentioning because first ultra evolution. Now new classes instead of new class. Like it's I don't know. The things are looking a bit weird. We'll have to see. But that sounds a lot like hopium. And honestly, it kind of is. So I don't really blame anyone for thinking otherwise. The new classes, new stories, and the sec in the NGS second anniversary event, and in June, creative space is scheduled to be released under the title "Tentative Ultra Evolution Update." Here we go again with this Ultra Evolution Update. We received a great deal of positive feedback on the content we pre we previously shared regarding the creative space, which has been a great encouragement for our live operations and development team. We're sorry to keep you waiting a little longer. However, we will take your con your comments in consideration and work together to develop and deliver content in better quality. All of our team members will make every effort to ensure that everyone continues to enjoy the game. We hope you have a great year with PSO2 New Genesis. So, I mean, it's worth mentioning that, yes, the NGS team has had a rough time. 
things aren't always smooth sailing. So it hasn't been, you know, we all haven't been the happiest with the game itself, myself included. We've all been there. People have had varying degrees of what they feel like the game is. People have been saying the game is dead for, I don't know, a year now as we still continue to get updates, people still continue to play and I've seen them pop up in influx. So it is what it is, but I'm sure someone's gonna link a Steam chart somewhere on the line to say otherwise. Um, as far as the game itself goes, it's obvious they're still making the best they can or they're still doing the best they can to push forward. And honestly, I'm happy with that. As long as they're still making an effort at the end of the day, that's really what you can ask from a dev team. When they stop caring and they stop making an effort whatsoever, stop listening is when you start to get concerned. The big th picture here to think about or talk about is like this section here is both interesting and damning at the same time, right? Because we see things like new classes and new stories, and they say, uh, you know, and in June, Creative Space is scheduled to be released under the title Tentative Ultra Evolution Update. The way this is worded, it's like the only thing that's going to be there is the Creative Space, which we know that isn't the case based on the actual, uh, the roadmap that we have. So what is it that we're really coming to see? Like, I feel like this is kind of a continuation off of the roadmap a video we had where we talked about this sort of stuff where we had information about the roadmap and we saw how things were kind of structured we saw that you know story was coming before the ultra evolution update and the ultra evolution update specifically mentioned new class new skills as well as you know a new um as the creative spaces and now actually now that i think about it i'm curious about something so hold on just a quick second yeah so taking a look at the roadmap you can see where it says new class and second anniversary events new gunblade weapon category that's very specific it's very straight to the point new class now again someone over on the jp side can take the uh the japanese version of this roadmap and see if they translate it if they see any sort of differences there but it doesn't say anything about new classes or anything along those lines and you can see how these are separated right where the chapter 5 story is in the april may update where the ultra evolution update is in the june update again could be reaching, not 100% sure, but it's just interesting to see this pop up. And I feel like it's also to see this pop up and then they kind of double down, right? Usually when a mistake like this pops up, they they make an announcement somewhere like, hey, there was an edit on this or there was a change, but we've seen this, we've talked about this because this popped up, let's see, over on Steam on the 27th. Yeah, December 27th is posted on Steam, which we saw this and we're like, oh, this is probably just, you know, a typo, right? Like this is possibly just a typo. They could have accidentally, you know, put classes instead of class, but then they double down by putting it up on the website as well, which seems a bit strange. Anyway, this is just something I wanted to talk with you guys about get your thoughts and see what you guys have to say. Go ahead and leave any of your comments in, I was gonna say in your comments in the video description, but leave any of your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to read through and hear what you guys have to say about this, what you're looking forward to. Um, I mean, what you guys are doing as far as MMOs going into the new year itself. We've got a couple on the horizon that I'm actually excited to look into things like Blue Protocol and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, every MMO that's brand new is kind of along the same cycle. It's going to boil down to its actual gameplay, its combat. That It's going to boil down to something that really hooks you and whether or not that game is going to do super well or whether it'll fall into the wayside of basically every MMO that has been coming out for the past two, three years. Hopefully we'll see something awesome happen, but you know, NGS has had its time to kind of marinate a bit. I'm actually pretty excited to see the future now of what's going to come of it because we've kind of gotten over the really difficult hump that I usually tend to go through when it comes to MMOs, where you kind of have to deal with the people who jump into the game for one reason or another, and then kind of doomsay it left and right. Not to say that, you know, what they're saying is incorrect, but it does usually build into something else. I've been through it beforehand. I knew how WoW has gone through it recently, which is surprising. I've um, been through it with Final Fantasy 14 when it existed back in 1.0, and now I'm here with it in Final Fantasy, or with PSO2 as well. I live with it with PSU, funny enough, for all of the people who like to talk how amazing that game was. Live through it with that game as well, so we'll just have to see how things go. Anyway, guys, we've rambled on long enough. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, everyone. Peace out.